Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. So you may notice we have now changed what's going on on Mondays. Uh, the tech news thing wasn't working out very well. It wasn't particularly fun to film. Um, and after all, this channel is kind of like uh, for us and we want fun things to uh, be on it. So we have changed what's going on to have uh, this sort of video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about different things you can do with a rooted phone. So today we're talking about how to change the uh, recovery mode on your phone using Jodin on Mac. So. If you like these videos, do let us know. Also, if you like this setup, if you like the way we filmed all of these videos, do let us know as well. Uh, we quite enjoy it. We think it looks really nice on camera. If you like the nice lava lamp, thumbs up for that. Um, but yeah, let's get straight on with today's new video. Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to grab our phone and we want to put it into download mode. Okay, so power button, volume down and home button. Shouldn't take too long to actually put it into download mode. Okay, so that's download mode there. You then want to press volume up to continue and then plug your phone in via USB and we are now ready to go onto the computer. Okay, so we want to head over here to Heimdall, double click to open that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, you want to go into the description and you want to download Heimdall, you want to also download Jodin uh, 3 for Mac, and then you want to search on the internet for Clockwork Mod KitKat compatible for your um, model number. It doesn't have to be KitKat compatible, it can be anything, um, just I find that's the one that works best for my phone. So, uh, and the uh, the recovery file must be a .tar file. So once we've opened Heimdall, we want to click on to Utilities, and we want to detect the device. So if it doesn't say device detected here, uh, you've either got a problem with your phone, uh, so I suggest rebooting it back into download mode, or trying a new computer. Okay, so we want to click Save As. Uh, I'm just going to call this GTI9100. And this is just the PIP file, which tells the computer uh, where to flash the ROM or the thing to. So I'm just going to click Save there. So I'm going to save it to the desktop, and now I'm going to click Download. Okay, so it says it takes about two minutes, but usually it's a lot quicker than that. You can see already it's beginning to end the session and releasing device interface. That means it is now done. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to pull it over here to where all the other ones are to make it a bit cleaner. Okay, so now we want to head over to Jodin. Double click that to open it. Um, and to have this working, you must have the newest version of Java installed. That's really simple. Just go onto the internet, type in Java, uh, and then install it. Reboot your computer and it should be working. Okay, so uh, here it says device connected and it also says device connected up there. So we want to now click on the PIT button here. Make sure we go onto desktop and select the correct PIT file. It should be .pit. Mine's only 4 kilobytes. It shouldn't be a lot of space. shouldn't be a lot of memory. Uh, then you also want to go onto this PDA button. Click that and click on your um, clockwork mod or TWRP um, recovery file, it must be a .tar file, click open. Now notice I've got auto reboot button clicked here. Make sure this is all the same around here as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click start. Uh, and that's going to run, it doesn't take long. So um, on here I wanted to point out that actually um, not an awful lot. Okay, so on the screen you have a little progress bar that appears uh, and then on the computer you can see it says it has passed. Now, I was going to flash it with a KitKat compatible and then I remembered actually this phone is on Jelly Bean so you must have the right clockwork mod for the right version of Android that you are on. So, um, so it's now done. Uh, we can now, just to show you that it has actually worked, I'm just going to unplug that. We can now unplug it. Um, and I'm going to show you if I reboot into recovery. Okay, so to reboot into recovery, we just press power button, volume up, and home button. And usually this does take a while to actually get into recovery, so don't be alarmed if you're sitting there. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so that little uh, yellow triangle basically means that your phone is now rooted. Um, and that comes from using the Jodin on your Mac. There are ways of getting rid of it, but uh, I'm not going to go into that now. Okay, so you can see there that I have clockwork mod installed. Okay, so obviously you can see on here you can do different things like installing zips from the SD card, you can uh, do backups and uh, things like that. So if you want to see any videos of me using this uh, to, for example, install ROMs, then do leave a comment down below and I will do something like that. 
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it's been quite fun to film. Obviously, as I said at the beginning of the video, every single Monday will have something to do with the rooted Android. It may not necessarily be something to do with Jodin, but it will definitely be something like that along those lines. It's been more fun to film this than has been the This Week in Tech. If you have any other ideas of any other things you want to see on our channel, do let us know as well. We're thinking of maybe opening up our Blog Brothers channel a little bit earlier than we had originally said, so also stick around for any updates on that. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you like, share, and leave any comments and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out a lot. Live long and prosper.